marks its uh, tail end of uh, Sun of Hunt 2023, but uh, having a ball looking at new airplanes I haven't seen before and new aircraft, and this caught my eye. Tell me about this helicopter. Well, this is the Argonne AK-1-3 Sanka. I just got this one from uh, Poland last week, and brand new to me coming into the country. Very sweet helicopter. Um, we're going to be bringing these in as kits this year and uh, working out all the registration process and things like that with the FAA to bring these in as experimental. So a lot of people want to build these helicopters instead of uh, getting them completely finished and, and shipped in. But they are available completely finished, ready to fly, or I'm going to try to bring them in as kits. Kit building time is a pretty simple kit to put together. We're looking at about 350 to 500 hours to put it together, which is a pretty simple build. Of course, it has to comply with the 51% rule for the FAA, so they can't provide too much for it, but it is a simple build, so not a problem to put these things together. And cost? Cost-wise, this one is completely built for you, 185000 for this. The kit market, I'm in negotiations right at this point. The manufacturer is supposed to text me today, as a matter of fact, as to what the kit price is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot lower than the 185 for the finished ones. You're currently powered by a Subaru EJ25, but you're talking about another power plant for the future? It is. We have a ULS 180 horsepower turbo version of this that's going to be available within the next few months. It'd be great for folks up in the high hills. Exactly. If you're in Colorado, something like that, 5,000 foot elevation for starting, the turbo would be the option for you. But this one will hover uh, out of ground effect at about 10,000 feet. Overall performance, you got rough numbers? Yep, uh, endurance of about two and a half hours or so, 22 and a half gallons of fuel on the helicopter. Of course, it burns automotive fuel, which is big savings over the Hunter Low Lad. So if you have to, what you can do is you can land near a gas station, get some fuel, and be on your way. Do you have numbers on speed and climb rate? Uh, speed on this, the VNE is 122. Mm -hmm. So cruise about 96 knots or so okay. is about the typical cruise on this one. Climb rate? Climb rate, you can get about 1,500 feet a minute, sea level, yep. Depends on how you're loaded, of course, if you have two people, climb rate's a little bit less, but single person with uh, half fuel, you can climb at a 1,500 feet a minute, no problem at all. Very agile helicopter. Well, I look forward to seeing this in action. I'd definitely like to fly it at some point in the future. How can people get more information on what you're offering? Well, they can contact me through my website, customaircraftllc.com.